Hey everyone, Zephyr here, and welcome back to my Build the City Challenge. Well, this is actually the first video in the series, and if you don't know what the Build the City Challenge is, it's basically a challenge where you start with like a certain number of sims, depending on the rules that you choose, and a certain amount of lots, and you follow these like certain guidelines. I'll tell you more about the guidelines I'm following in a second, but you basically have a goal of building a like bustling city, right? And um, it's a challenge that I've attempted before numerous times, actually. But I always wanted to make like a little series on a Build a City challenge. And I feel like YouTube is a good platform to do that with. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm using Nefaris' rule set. And um, I'm not going to go into like extreme detail like right away because that's kind of boring. But basically, I had to create a founder and then four other households. Um, I randomized some of them and kind of like gave backstories to others. It's a whole thing. You'll st I'm going to introduce you to The Sims in a moment. Here are the households I created for this challenge. I made up little bios for everyone. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to my Sims. Tessa Bell is a woman on a mission. Recently, she founded a new town with the ambitious goal of turning it into a bustling city. As the town's mayor, Tessa is outgoing and confident, unafraid to take bold steps to achieve her vision. She has a magnetic personality that draws people to her, and her enthusiasm for the town is infectious. With her leadership, Tessa hopes to attract new businesses and residents to the town, creating a thriving community. Um, we'll learn a bit about more about her later on when we actually start the gameplay, but I feel like that gives you a good little summary of her into her character, and now we'll do the same for the second household, which is Alicia Sharp. I, I kind of don't want to go into the, like, pictures of them right now, because my game is just, like, not um, loading in some of the outfits, and I don't want YouTube to get mad at me, so we'll see her uh, zoomed in in a little bit. But Alicia Sharp is an ambitious and driven businesswoman with a passion for entrepreneurship. Aspiring to create new shops and businesses around Plumbob, she teamed up with town mayor Tessa Bell to found the town with the goal of making lots of simoleons in the process. With her sharp mind for business and innovative ideas, Alicia is determined to make a name for herself in the town and turn her dreams into a reality. Her tireless work ethic and entrepreneurial spirit have earned her respect and admiration from her colleagues and peers, and she is seen as the rising star in the Plumbob business community. I'm really excited about, about this sim. Um, she's really pretty, and uh, I'm excited about her future. I actually have her up for download if anyone's interested in her, um, but like I, like I said, you'll see more of her in a second. Okay, this is the Gardner family. Um, it consists of Joel... Here, Peyton and Charlie, and I'll give you a little rundown about who they are. The Gardner family, consisting of Joel, Peyton, and Joel's twin brother, Charlie, hail from Appaloosa Plains. After facing discrimination and rejection from their hometown, they decided to join Tessa and others in creating a new city called Plumbob, where they hope to start a new life. Although they, although they miss their horses, they are excited for the opportunities that Plumbob presents. Peyton hopes that Joel, known for being a ladies' man, will settle down and become a family man in Plumbob. Meanwhile, Charlie wonders if he will feel like he belongs in this new place. Despite their past struggles, the Gardner family is determined to make the most of their new beginning in Plumbob. So, they are like the like former farmers. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to turn into farmers. There's other sims that could be farmers in this town, but I'm excited about their future too. And now we have the Summers household. Kara Summers is a sim who likes to throw herself into her hobbies, as well as in the arms of new romantic partners. She has many passions and is always looking to improve herself, whether that's learning a new skill or exploring her desires. Kara's love life is just as active as her hobbies, as she's always on the lookout for new romantic opportunities. Despite her promiscuous tendencies, Kara is a kind-hearted sim who cherishes her relationships and values the connections she has with others. She's excited for new opportunities within Pub Mob and can't wait to see what adventures await her in the soon-to-be city. I love her too. I actually love all these sims, okay? I need to hype up every single sim I made here because they're all cute. I, I love them. 
And this is Leaf Day. She is actually the only supernatural sim in the town, and she is a plant sim. Leaf is a mysterious plant sim with a past shrouded in uncertainty. Found abandoned in a garden as a toddler, not much is known about Leaf's origins or how she came to be a plant sim. Despite being adopted by a family, they were put off by Leaf skipping her childhood and teenage years and suddenly becoming an adult. This led Leaf to feel like an outsider and seek refuge in Plum Bob, where she hopes to create a sanctuary for plant sims like herself. Her deep connection to nature and passion for preserving the environment have made Leaf a beloved figure in the community, and she is determined to create a safe haven for all plant sims to thrive in Plum Bob. So these are all the sims. I'm really excited to just, like, get into the game and play them, so let's get started. Okay, so we are now loaded into the lot, and there's a little bit of a party going on, but first, this is our mayor, Tessa Bell in all her glory but right now in her house all the sims are just kind of like standing around waiting for me to unpause the game because they are having a little bit of a get together um instantly there's some attraction vibes going on you know but yeah they obviously spent time traveling together to get to this town and they know each other but so this meeting is just kind of like a way to simulate that and get relationships going um we get to see what they're doing. I'm not going to control them all that much. But I'll introduce you to every sim. So first, uh, immediately, Joel over here starts talking to um, Tessa. But Joel is actually married to the sim right here, Payton. Um, they are the only couple in Plum Bob right now. This is uh, Joel's brother, Charlie. I'm actually obsessed with Charlie. Like, I'm in love. I love him. Um, he's just, like, one of the best-looking sims I ever made. <laughs> and, of course, we have our plant sim that's just, you know, advocating for plant sims everywhere. I love her. And it looks like Alicia here is just, you know, agreeing with everything she said and, you know, making connections she's networking and i love how fitting that is for both of their personalities i come to the realization that i don't have any sounds sound on in my game and that's kind of like an issue so we're gonna put sound on at least there we go there we go that might be a little loud i might have to play with the sound mixer in fact i yeah i'm gonna do that right now Alrighty, so sound should be back on my back on in my game and now suddenly alicia and kara are not having the best interaction but that's fine i feel like uh leaf over here is like yeah don't worry about her and over here we have like a little family reunion talking about very important things like basketball charlie is here like kind of like eavesdropping definitely judging them definitely <laughs> I love how, um, I love how Alicia is just, like, networking the whole time, though, like, love that for them. Oh, and I forgot to delete Rod Humble from my game. That's embarrassing. <laughs> and Kara is so me right now, like, Everyone's outside socializing, and she's just like, I'm just gonna stare at this painting. You know what? That is actually, actually like, so relatable. But it looks like she's going out there. It looks like Kara and Charlie are getting along, which I love. Oh, and now we're getting into the entertaining themselves portion of the meeting. Uh, there's no electricity yet in Plum Bob, so, you know, um, playing ball is probably one of the better ideas uh my sims have had so far to unlock electricity and you know more forms of entertainment our founder has to advance through her career um so but first we actually have to get a career which is gonna be a challenge because i can't cheat it and the newspaper only gives us like three jobs at a time and i really doubt we're gonna end up getting a politician on the first day but we will see and I know all the, um, all the people in town are having a great time outside, but, you know, Tessa here has some, like, duties to attend to. 
I love this newspaper default, by the way. I, so it's so much better than the original newspaper in game. Are you not finding a job? Go go find a job, please. Thank you. Okay. Medicine, nope. Gamer, no. Nope. And law, nope. So we're gonna have to try again tomorrow. But eventually she will get in a career and begin unlocking things for the town. And these guys are probably gonna be playing kickball for a little bit and it is honestly kind of loud. But I think that's where we're gonna end the video. I only wanted this video to be like a introductory um, oh my gosh, they're loud. <laughs> I only wanted this video to be like an introduction to the characters and stuff like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. I'm really excited about this series, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.